What's up guys, it's Grant, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do continuous spins with one finger with the bow staff. Baby, hit it. What's up guys, it's Grant, so as I said, I'm going to be showing you guys how to basically throw the bow in the air, catch it on one finger and keep it spinning the exact same way you did when you threw the bow regularly up in the air. So now this is a bit of an advanced trick I would probably say. It doesn't take too long to get used to it, I'm going to show you guys actually a trick of how you can kind of get it in an easier way and then slowly start to make it harder until it gets to the normal version of what you're supposed to do. Um, but again, yeah, it is a bit of an advanced trick so it's probably going to be more difficult to learn at first. So to start off, let's pretend we threw our bow in the air. So pretend it's up in the air and it's spinning. So what we're going to do is we're going to wait till the bow is at about this point. And what I like to do is I like to take that one finger. I would like to use my first finger because obviously you know, it's the easiest to use in this scenario. You could technically use any finger and I'm going to be showing you guys again the easier way to start off learning this at first. But for now I'll show you just with this finger and I'm going to go to about the bottom of my grip. If you don't have grip just go a decent amount or this amount as you can see on the camera just below the center line of your bow. Just so that you have more of the bow on the top side at the point where I'm putting my finger right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm kind of going to catch it as that's coming down and it's still spinning in midair. And as I'm doing this, I'm going to kind of push it to the side the same way that it was already moving. And once it gets to about here, I'm just going to toss it back up in the air. Don't really smack it because that's just going to hit the bow. You kind of want to, like as I just said, kind of catch it and then put it back up in the air with a light toss just with that one finger. And again, I'll show you it's kind of like using your full hand, the easier version. So again, I'm pretending I threw the bow up in the air, the bow is spinning. It's coming to about this point where I'm going to start to catch it as it keeps spinning and then toss it back in the air with that one finger. So now as I was saying before, a little bit of an easier way to start to learn it is to use all of your fingers. Try to keep them together because if you keep it spread out it's just a little bit harder to do and you kind of want to replicate having that, you know, one solid object just continuously moving the bow, which is obviously going to end up being your finger, but for now try to keep your fingers decently close together if you're doing this version and it's the exact same idea. You're catching it at about here and they're going to keep pushing it and tossing it up. That's what I'd recommend using if you haven't really had any experience with moves like this. Start to learn it like that and then eventually once you get that down then you can go to one finger. So this move is hard to do when you're going slow but I'll try my best to kind of go a little bit slower so you can see. But basically I'm just throwing the bow up in the air, catching it at that same spot and letting it go around. You can do this as many times as you want and some people will have the bow spin less when they throw it up in the air. I just usually do, you know, like a full spin that goes around when I throw it up in the air. Some people do where it constantly goes around their finger. Some people do a 180 with the bow when it spins in front of you or they throw it up higher or whatever. Whatever you want to do, but the basis of the move is catching it on that finger and letting it go back up in the air as you kind of catch and toss the bow back up. So that's basically it for the trick. The main thing is to make sure that you keep the momentum going when you catch and toss the bow up in the air. Say for example, if I try to catch the bow in the middle, you're not gonna get that speed and you're not gonna be able to keep the momentum from pushing the heavier part over to the side and keeping the bow moving at that same speed and again, same momentum that it was moving from when you threw the bow up in the air originally. So again, one more time showing you guys. Catching it there, same spot. You see I'm keeping that momentum, it's going around and then you can catch again whenever you want. So make sure it's at that same spot. It should keep going the same speed as when you threw it up in the air originally. And again, you can go as many times as you'd like to go. So that's it for the tutorial today, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.